you're gonna get yeah. is what keeps you up. You can't even go to sleep. Yeah. Cause you're thinking about what's what's up under that tree. Yeah. Esau, he has that same excitement when it comes to whatever wicked agenda he's gonna have a come. Yeah. And, and after they open the presents, you don't give a shit about him anymore. Right. It's on to the next. Yeah. That's Esau. You know? Exactly. Once he wakes up and he actually gets to see how many bodies and drop or you know how much money uh, he didn't stole or, or then, then, no. then, then took. You know, like all them dudes that that became multi billionaires from that from those lockdowns. Yep. Hey, they, you, you better believe that they the excitement had them up just yeah. doing what the <laughs> doing all kind of shit, man. They they probably wouldn't even sleep it. Yeah. Yep. And then when they got to see their bank accounts, oh man. Yeah. They looking for the Can't next. Enough they looking shit. for the next big big thing to happen now. Yeah. Which is uh, uh, that new world order. Yeah. yeah. Which is death, death, and more death, man. I want to add this about the new world order. This man, if, if, we, if the Most High were, allowed, were to allow Esau to fully fulfill his agenda and take control of the earth to get that birthright back, he would live another 100 years on the planet. The whole earth would be in destruction in the 100. They'd be then moved on to other planets, destroying them as they go. They don't even think far enough to know that they need to, to sustain life, let alone their own. Hey, this because their nature is to destroy. Because when we go into what that uh, John uh, 10 and 10, yeah. it says the thief come and die before to steal, kill, and to destroy. Yeah. That's that's all he knows, man. All he knows that like, we always quote the, the planet of the, uh, the apes movie, the, I think the yeah, first the one. The harbinger of death. The harbinger of death, where he yeah. will make a desolation of your place yeah. and his own, man. Yeah. I mean, the fact that the scriptures say that he can't sleep, yeah. <laughs> except he has caused mischief. Yeah. That's that. You'll deprive yourself of sleep which is so harm, yep. just, to just, harm just, just to wait for the harm of right. other people. Yep. That's why it says in Sirach, uh, uh 14, uh, uh, if he's evil, uh, uh, a man that is evil to himself, to whom will he do good? Right. Uh, Isaiah 27 and 1. In that day, the Lord, Yahweh, with his sword and great and strong sword, shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent. That's going into Esau. Man. Esau is that Leviathan. Esau is that uh, dragon, that serpent. It's a different Leviathan from what yeah. we're talking about. Yeah. And if you look up crooked, it goes into uh, Draco. Draconian. Dragon. Esau is coming down with his Draconian measures. You know? You can't, he's, he's taking, he's taking uh, uh, civil liberties away from you. You know? Give it rights, as you can say. You know, and he's, he's, he's about to take, he's about to start taking people's lives. Man. Let me make it real for people. Draconian measures, A.K.A. mandates. Okay, okay. I'll finish reading this. Back in uh, Proverbs 4 and uh, verse 16, for they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away. Unless they ca they cause some to fall, for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it tells you that in Psalms 36 that they are poor, not evil. So it's just it, it's just second nature to them to just do wicked, evil shit, man. And they also it also says that they they hate it not blood. Yep. So they're, they're drunk off blood. And off that power trip, man. Yeah. Who's that? Have a cook the second chapter. Where, yeah, it, it, it talks about how he, his evil covetousness and all the wicked shit that he's done, that he's going to use that to try to uh, 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 basically uh, 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 set himself on high, man. He try to, he's going to try to set his nest away from, from, from you know, uh, escaping punishment, basically, man. You think you're going to gather all this wealth, you know, through bloodshed, deceit, injuries, and then you're just going to dip out and go into a Elysium or, or down to a, your underground uh, bank, uh, bunkers. That's literally in this man's heart, man. He really thinks that he's going to be able to escape with the spoils. You know? Yep. Oh, 24 and 14. The murderer rises with the light, killing killeth the poor and needy, and in the night 
his ass a thief. Good God. That's this guy, man. All his worst shit happens when Jack is in their local. Hey, you go back even to just the uh, the natives, you know, the, the, yeah. the, the Gadites. The motherfucker uh, uh, said he had a peace treaty with them to not kill. And then all of a sudden, he fed them real good, you know. And then in the middle with all the gal was all sleeping, drunk, and everything, this man was slaughtered. Good, and you celebrate that day still. Yeah, because right? before that, what happened? He was going through it, man. Yeah. Hey, it was so bad that um the people of uh, the Edomites that died, they were digging up their bodies and eating them, man. Yeah. yeah. They, like we were going into, they they can't sleep until they've done mischief. Yeah. They were, When they first got over there, they were so busy on getting gold and silver uh -huh. that they didn't they didn't they weren't thinking about the winter time or uh -huh. crops or or any of that shit. So they was just they, they was just like houses. they was digging all yeah yeah let's <laughs> more, let's get more gold more silver yeah. you know right. was it was it a, 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 a Columbus that basically said that uh, he couldn't put his sword down yeah. for, for at least an hour he said he couldn't do it Habakkuk 2 and 15, woe unto them that giveth his neighbor drink. They put it that putteth the bottle to him and making him drunk also. That thou mayest look upon their nakedness. Yeah. And caught them in your weak moment, man. Caught you with your pants down. They put that bottle to you, meaning they gonna uh, deceive you. Yeah. You know, and, and take you off course mentally so that they can take advantage, take advantage of your ass, man. Yeah. You know? That's why it's important to have that garment, your, your garment, man, which is this uh, knowledge, man. And so let, so let me add again, if I may, let's go back to read, but hey, that's what he's doing today. They're constantly throwing these, get it, I got it, your mama got it, you need to get it, you know? They keep telling everybody, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, until it's everywhere, it's convenient, it's, you need it, so we can go back to regular life. They're telling you all this shit to get it, but that's the same idea that the brothers talking about. That, that, so they may look upon your nakedness, man. See you in your weakest point and have control over you. A kind, but dang, that, that's, that's spiritual too because hey, when you look at the, the nature of those those same serpents that we're talking about, every one of them's venom has a, uh, a certain time limit to it. Yeah. Meaning what? When it affects that, uh, when it fully goes into effect, you know? And one may be three minutes, another may be uh, after 15 minutes. Yeah. That's why they say, oh, if you don't get uh, help within uh, the time that you're bitten in 15 minutes, you're dead. Or yeah. in the time of seven minutes, you're dead. Yeah. That's because they each have a, have a different effect. Because this poison is affecting Jake's at, at different times. You know what? They're, they're hitting their breaking points, man. Where they're not able to, to think straight, so they just give in to it. You know? Yeah, that's, you got people that's waiting until the last minute to die. Like people that actually got it. They're waiting until the last minute where the effects start to uh, yeah. start to happen. Uh -huh. When you actually could have, uh, you know, uh, uh, did the, the yeah. you could have reversed it. Now you can't reverse what they put in you, right. but the, the symptoms you, you, you can uh, you can still try to prevent. Yeah. People wait to the last minute and they end up dead because they ran out of time, yeah. thinking that this shit is actually gonna uh, 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 eat, you know, cure them and, 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 and you know help them out in this whole situation and, and that's what the the the, 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 the leaders uh, you know the, right. the medical professionals are actually telling you to have that kind so and that's why this devil is trying to he's pushing vehemently don't don't talk about herbs yeah because a lot of those herbs actually will help you prevent some of these uh a lot of those symptoms a lot of those herbs um build your immune system yeah you know Cause that was that was fights any kind of um uh, foreign diseases or the viruses that come into your body. Yeah, the sunlight. Man. Yeah. Is that vitamin K? Vitamin D. Vitamin D. Hey, Khan, man, because it's truth, man. Hey, everybody else struggling in the world and dealing with the, that poison of the, the serpent of Eve. Hey, but this truth is the anti venom, man. Yeah. Why? Because what? This is the cure. This is the cure to not be affected. It's fine. Hey, it's on me, bro. Yeah, I'm going to read this. What we're talking about. He said Paul had the anti venom. You know, mm. brother, remember that situation? He was bitten and it didn't hurt him. And there's a brother that may be going through that similar situation. He's getting better. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, this is, um, let me see, uh, yeah, this is Acts chapter 28. And I'll start at verse, I'll start at verse, um, Kind, Salah. Yep. 
yep. because um another thing too for uh, areas that aren't so high in uh like I'll say pharmaceuticals ease a uh, pharmaceutical market. For example, like uh, certain parts of uh, the Africa and South America, they're not big on uh, on uh, Esau's Pharma witchcraft pharmaceuticals. You know, as far yep. as pills and all that stuff. So they have something called snake oil, and inside the snake oil is basically uh, a bunch of just herbs, man. And they'll either put um. Uh, olive oil in there to mix it with, or they'll put uh, certain waters in. Uh, uh, yeah, as a carrier, basically, to apply that that balm upon where they're bitten, man. So, yeah. uh -huh. Hey, and we understand that the scriptures talk about the herbs, but more importantly than the herbs is what of the Most High cometh healing, man. So this, exactly. So this is the real healing, man. This is the real cure. Yeah, said, uh, convert and be healed, right? Yeah. This is uh, uh, Acts chapter twenty-eight. I'm starting at one. It says, and when they're and then when they were escaped, because they were going through a tumultuous uh, storm on the waters, yeah. right? It says, um, then they knew that the island was called Melita. And it says, uh, and the barbarous people showed us no little kindness, for they kindled a fire and received us, every one because of the present rain and because of the cold. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, there came a viper out of the heat and fastened to his hand. Yeah, his viper came and fastened it on his hand, man. That's yeah. a that's a hematoxin right there, man. Yeah. yeah. It says, uh, and when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, "No doubt this man is a murderer." He kind. It's a lot. <laughs> and one of the things about the viper, you have a viper called the the Gaboon viper, G A B O O N, and uh, that viper has the longest fangs out of all snakes, man. I believe the fangs are uh, four, no, anywhere from four to six inches long, mm. you know? So the bite of the Gaboon Viper is, is, is a, a, it's not only is it a venomous bite, but the bite actually hurts more because the fangs are longer. Deep, yep. It goes deeper into your skin, man, or in your flesh. Yep. It says, uh, it says no, no doubt this man is a murderer, and they're gonna, they gonna slander us the same way they slander Paul in that, in that state, yep. because it's gonna look like we're terrorists and wicked and evil and and all the other matters of slander that they're gonna put on. It's right? gonna look like we are, um, that's what it is. Because the society is taken away from us, it's gonna look like we lose. Yeah. It's like, you know, yeah, look at these guys. They, the most high's not dealing with them. They don't got shit right now, yeah. you know? That's why, that's why the scripture of Wisdom of Solomon says, they said that we fools accounted his life as madness. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because they, they're looking at us as such, man. Oh, they, they ain't nothing, you know? They just, they, uh, they're putting basically all labels on us, man. Yeah. False label. Yeah, false label. Yep, it says, uh, no doubt this man is a murderer who, though he have escaped the sea, yet vengeance suffered not to live. Yeah, and that shows the <laughs> men were more spiritual back then as well. Because they're like, oh, the, the Most High allowed him to go through this, the, the tumultuous sea, you yep. know, and basically deal with all the elements of, of being on the water. And now he waited, allowed him to get on the land, and now he allowed the snake to kill him or yep. to bite him. Mm -hmm. Something must have been wrong. But this goes to show you that Yahweh Hashem Shai, hey, he killed to make it alive, man. Because what? He didn't allow this 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 viper's venom, hey, to, to hurt Apostle Paul at all, man. Now let's say this: Paul actually was a murderer, as when his name was Saul, but he repented. And so it looks like he was getting judgment, but yeah, the bite might have been a, a level of judgment, but also a level of mercy shown through that man, right? Because look what it says well, remember, here. Remember, uh, Yahweh Shai also. When he was uh, talking to his disciples, he assured them that the Holy Spirit would come. Yep. And he said um, that they would have uh, the, the power of the Holy Spirit, that um, if they drunk any poisonous thing, it would not hurt them. Yeah. Yep. So the Holy Spirit was actually uh, on the Apostle Paul. Right. You know? Anti-venom. <laughs> that's, the, hey, that's the ultimate anti-venom right there, man. Yeah. Right. Really, it's through the Spirit, man, whether you heal or, or not. Thank <laughs> God, bro. It says, verse 5, it says, And he shook off the beast into the fire and felt no harm. Howbeit they looked when he should have been, excuse me, howbeit they looked when he should have, have swollen or fallen down deadly, dead suddenly. But after they had looked a great while and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a power or a god. Yep. Which was, the, which was the point, you know? Oh, he must be 
a child of the Most High, right? Because it says, it says ye are God, so God I am the Most High. It gave Yahweh Shah 